Hi guys, welcome to another First Impressions Friday video. Um, I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I just, I haven't really had anything super new to review for you guys. But in the post today, I got some titanium white and the touch up texture from brush and pencil and I have been really excited to try these so <laughs> since I've just finished him I thought I'm gonna do a little video of um, me trying it out for the first time and um, I can give you my first impressions on it so I'm just gonna get it out because it's in this little pot and it comes in this little pot and um, I'm going to make this into a bit of a bowl because I don't want it to leak everywhere. I don't want to waste any. So there we go. There we go. We have an impromptu little mixing bowl. Right. We have a little mixing bowl. So... According to uh, Lacree's video on how to do this, okay, so it comes with a little bit of cellophane on top, and the pot has the little shaker holes underneath, which I'm presuming are going to be have the powder on them. Yeah. Oh god, I don't want this to go everywhere. Okay, so it's got the little bit, and then. I'm just going to shake a little bit of the powder into here. Now, according to Lacroix's video, you don't need much as it goes quite a long way. So I'm just going to put a little bit in there. And then this comes in a little bottle like nail varnish. And at the bottom, it's got this white residue. And uh, apparently you have to shake it to mix it all together. It's got a little metal ball in. So, right. <laughs> so, um, I think it comes with a brush on the end. Yeah, it comes with a brush. Um, but you just want to pour a little bit in. I don't know how much to use, so I'm just going to do a little bit like that. I think that'll be enough. And then I'm going to get a spare paintbrush to mix it together. So, according to the videos that I've seen of people using it, you're supposed to have a consistency like milk, possibly a little bit thin, uh, thicker than milk. So I'm just gonna, not sure if you can see, I'm just gonna keep mixing until I've got rid of all those little lumps as best as I can. Apparently when you put it on the uh, paper, it does dry really quickly. So that's good. I'm going to leave it like that now. I'm just going to wipe this brush off. So um, the idea of using this is that you can add highlights and um, yeah, you can add really fine highlights to coloured pencil drawings. But it's archival so it won't fade in the same way that acrylic paint or things like that will. <clears throat> so, I'm just going to get a bit on, bit on my paintbrush and I'll zoom in so we can see how it goes. So I'm just going to take a bit and just add like really fine amounts to my highlights. I think I do need to a uh, finer brush for this though. This is a size one. Let me see if I have a smaller one somewhere. Okay, so this is a five over zero. I think this is going to work better for me. Some of the bristles are a bit widespread. Sorry, I will get back to it in a second. Just snip off some of those bristles. 
There we go. So you can dab it away the same way you do with, um, like if, you, if you've ever used acrylic for highlights, just to make them a bit softer. But also what I found really good um, when I was reading up about it was that um, because it's got the touch-up fixative in, you can draw on top of it because it's got the touch-up texture which will bring back the tooth of your paper. So I thought that was really good. Just add a little bit of highlight to his nose and uh, his whiskers, obviously. So first impressions, it is really nice to use. It goes on um, a bit quite bright and then if I show you, so it goes on really really bright straight away and then kind of fades out a little bit let me see if I can get another I'm having to hold this up and do it so if I just do that and then kind of see as it dries it fades so it's a little softer which I really like I think that's great because then it's not as um, in your face so I'm just going to add some White hairs to his chin. And his ears, because <laughs> I did, he does have lots of white hairs in his ears. I'm just gonna put a bit more of the powder in to see if it alters the color it lays down. So I'm just gonna put a little more powder in with the, the same paste but from before because it's a bit thicker and I'm wondering if it will go down a bit brighter which is what I want for his ear hair and it is true you don't need much it does go a really long way so I think I'm gonna have this pot for a while um, I got mine from Jackson's Art Supplies but you can get it from brush and pencil or Aliona at brush and pencil if you are in the US. But so far, I really love it. And I think this will definitely be something I use quite often in my drawings. So I'm gonna do some more of this and then I'm going to try drawing over the top of it and see if um, that actually works because this bit here is a bit messy so I'm just gonna see how that goes. I'm also gonna put like a few wispy bits of fur just in I think I will try and get an eyedropper or something like that to um, get the touch up fixture or texture out of the bottle rather than pouring it because it's quite annoying trying to pour some. And I do think I will try and get a finer paintbrush. So I'm not adding masses of it just a few little lines to his highlighted areas or where he's got white fur. But you'd use this instead of a gel pen. Um, I know some people use gel pens or paint pens. Um, but obviously they're not archival so if you're 
selling your work you'll have a problem with pieces fading in the future which obviously you don't want to do you don't want to give your clients something that's fake gonna fade in a few years so this is a great alternative for that it does dry really quickly in the in the tin or like in the foil it does dry really quickly And it does have quite a strong smell, but I can't work out what it smells like. And it's not giving me a headache, so that's a good thing. Because everything gives me headaches. But this isn't. <laughs> so that's a good thing. So I'm just going to add those in and then I'm going to do his whiskers and then I will come back at the end and give you my final opinion. off all the bits that I want I will probably tweak some of the colors um overall I think it's a really great product I really like it um I do think I need to work with it a bit more definitely use a smaller brush because it does come out quite thick on the brush so I'm I was using a five over zero which is really tiny and it's still come out quite thick so I definitely think a small brush I love that you can draw back over the top of it. Um, so, let me find the colour that I want. That one. So, as you can see, his whiskers are very bright, and as I was saying, it come out quite thick in some places. Um, but, you can just colour over the top of them, so I can neaten up those whiskers and add in a little shadow underneath the whisker which I really like I think that is really great um, my <laughs> one thing I dislike or kind of dislike at the moment is it's quite <laughs> this is gonna sound silly it's very white <laughs> which I know is obviously what it's for, it's for adding those really white bits um, but I think it's quite a harsh colour and I like slightly warmer tones so if there was like a buff titanium version that was just a slightly softer white and a bit cream, more cream coloured um, I think that would be perfect for me but yeah, um, I've added some down here um, to the creases in his fur. Um, I've added a few little fur highlights just around. I did obviously his eyes and the ear hairs. Um, overall, I, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I really like it. So I will put a link in the description down below where you can get it from and I will put a link to Aliona's Facebook page as well. But yeah, I hope everyone's enjoyed this video if you've got any other products you want me to review stick a comment down below and if you are interested in real-time drawing videos check out my patreon bye guys